Hey y'all, it's registered dietitian Robin Patera, and today we're making our next superfood recipe, a red potato salad with green beans. So to start, you're just going to rinse off some red potatoes. Use one to two pounds, depending on how much you wanna make, and you're just gonna add them to a medium saucepan, cover them with water, and then bring this to a boil. You're then going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. Now in your final five minutes, you can add your green beans. So just a half a pound or so of green beans with the ends trimmed off. Then you're gonna let that simmer for an additional five minutes to cook. Now alternatively, if you didn't wanna add the green beans to the boiling water, you could just microwave or steam some frozen green beans as well and add this in at the end. When your potatoes are tender and the green beans, if you did them, you're just going to Rinse them in a colander to remove any excess starch and to help cool them down because you're then going to cut them into little one inch cubes. So just one inches like so. And you're going to add those to a large bowl. And with that, you're going to add your green beans, a cup or two, however much you would like. And next, a cup of cherry tomatoes halved, a half a cup of diced green onions. These green onions were grown locally and fresh and were donated by Numa Life Studios' Jenny Edwards. So thank you for these, Jenny. And then you're going to make your vinaigrette dressing. You've added all your potatoes. Now, traditional potato salad would be made with mayonnaise, but we're gonna try this one with a red wine vinaigrette dressing. So to make that, just combine in a small bowl three tablespoons of red wine vinegar plus one tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, garlic, salt, pepper, and basil, plus a tablespoon or so of olive oil. Just wanna combine that all up and stir it over the potato salad. Next, you're just going to stir this well to combine and refrigerate for up to one hour until it's nice and chilled, and then it's ready to go. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed trying this recipe with your family.